Hello, my darlings. How are you doing today? It's me. It's your girl, Stardust Raccoon. And today I wanted to show you just a few pictures of what's happening to me as I transition. So I wanted to show you some actual real photos of me when I started my journey way back in May, uh, all the way up to just last week. So thank you so much. If you do like the content that I provide, I do have a coffee and I would ask that you please give if you can to help me both with my transition and still with the channel. I still need things for the channel. Lighting is still not the best. I'm still learning a little bit of lighting. Plus, you know, your girl needs nice things. Don't mind me while I get loaded and we go down memory lane. That's right. Make mommy happy. Let's see how many times I can refill it before I run out. Just to clue you in, I've always kind of had suspicions and wants and desires to transition from male to female. I just didn't know what it was called as a child. Uh, knowing that you're different, knowing that you can't go down the pink aisle because it's gross and grody, but yet still somehow we convinced our parents we deserve to Care Bear. That didn't come back to bite them in the ass. However, back in April, a friend of mine from high school and then college, and we've been lifelong friends at this point, came to where I live in Orlando, Florida, and decided to take me shopping. Until then, I wore very baggy clothes. I was, I still am, but I was more overweight than I am now. We ended up at the outlet malls here in Orlando. So instead of just pink shorts, your girl walked out with a couple of pairs of skinny jeans that uh, she didn't know she needed, but we definitely knew she wanted. Thusly, where else would I wear them except out and about? And it was so liberating, it was so nice. At that point, I had been talking with people online. I have my really good friend Fresca Husky. Hi, sweetie. My other really good friend Stripe. Hi, Egg Mom. And so many wonderful online resources and friends that had encouraged me and I had told my wants and desires to, to help me. On May 20th that I decided to go to the doctor. I made an appointment at the local clinic for May 23rd and here's just a few photos. So this first photo is actually of the doctor's office. This is where I go. It's called the Center for Living Well. It's in Celebration, Florida. I know I've shown my face before, but there's gonna be a lot of pictures of actual me. So please forgive the lack of fur. This is me. I just got off work and I went to the Center for Living Well to start my journey. This is on May 23rd of 2023. I would go in for blood tests at this point. They would take my blood and let me know what my testosterone was. In addition to just the pictures I'm going to show you, I'm also gonna show you my confidential medical records to give you an idea of what it is that I started with and where I am as of uh, November. Yes, talk to me. Tell me to share my sacred medical records. Mommy likey. In this graph, you can see my entire estradial history all the way starting from May 23rd when I had my first blood test to November 20th when I had my last blood test. There's been a few roads up and down here, as you can see. I started at pretty much almost zero in May. Uh, that's 22 PGML. I have no idea what that means. This is where most people start at from my understanding if you're going from male to female. In the modern definition, maybe I'm getting it wrong, but this is for me. Your gender is not what you have biologically, but it's how you identify, how you wish to be seen, and how you expect to be seen and how you outwardly project yourself to the universe. The pills that I take for my estrogen are genetically identical to the estrogen that assigned female at birth people would produce biologically with their own hormone system. In July, I was at 61. So that was a little bit high, but it's exactly kind of where I needed to be at that time. But I was having a few setbacks at that point. You'll notice then in September, it went up to 448 PG ml. That was extraordinarily high, and we actually had to come down a little bit because they did not want me being at that level too soon. This is from my doctor. 
who is wonderful and I love him ever so much. Technically, for most females, that number should be around 200 pgml. So technically, I'm twice the woman some of you will ever be. And then in November, it came back down to 41. So we're still working on getting it into what they call therapeutic levels. But there are some biological changes that have occurred that we'll show you in just a moment. Let's take a quick look at my testosterone levels, which are the boy hormones. Things are not going the way that we had hoped. On May 23rd, when I started my journey, I was at 430 pgml. July, it had actually gone up. I'm taking an androgen blocker called spironolactone. We started at 50 milligrams back in May or June, when actually when I started taking it, and my testosterone went up. Things got real weird in the house, I'll put it that way. Yes, tell me more of your secrets. By September, my number had dropped to where we kind of wanted it to be. We wanted it to be as low as possible. That way, the estrogen can do its magic and begin reshaping my body, and more importantly, my brain and my hormones and how I perceive the world and how I drink with, I mean, interact with it. Unfortunately, by November, my testosterone had gone up. I had noticed that my boy urges from July to September and October had radically decreased. But by November, the boy urges were back. I had more private time daily. The internet is really, really great. I didn't really enjoy it, to be completely honest. I kind of liked not having boy urges. I kind of liked having girl urges. My chest began to hurt. It aches right here, to, to be honest and to tell you the truth. Um, but I've actually come to appreciate it. It means that there is something happening with me biologically that is the magic of transitioning. So I think that's enough with the medical diagnosis. Let's take a look now at when I actually started identifying as trans and how that journey has proceeded. So let's take a look at some photos that were taken in May of 2023, uh, the week actually I came out as trans. One of the things that I'm doing to document my journey is I go to Walt Disney World and get my photos taken with the characters. I'm extraordinarily bad at taking my own photo in the house and I really don't like the way I look, to be honest. I think I'm very ugly. Um, and I'm not trying to gain sympathy, I'm just telling you the truth. I look at the mirror and I'm not my own type. With that being said, the easiest way for me to actually get my photo taken is to go to Walt Disney World and see the characters that I adore and that have inspired me over many years.